Hey folks, Yuna Servo here. And in the last video, I said I'd be doing some show and tells about some donations, some things that people have sent me. This is the second. And as you see, a weird gold colored techno Aztec disc of death. What is this? Well, a friend sent this to me because I don't think he knew what it was. Um, but he said it looked awfully neat and wondered why the uh, PC board designer <laughs> kind of went all artistic and such. Well, I know what this thing is for the most part. This is a test fixture. Let's, uh, let's get it close because there is a logo. Here we go, the logo. You can see, yeah, it's all nice gold plate. Bring this close, see if we can get, yes, Pure Technologies out of California. And you can see, yes, this thing is, I don't know, roughly uh, close to 10, 11 inches in diameter. It's also quite thick if you look at the edge. That, that's quite the, quite the thick circuit board. And oh, it's got a lot of wire wrap pins and some wire wrap on it. Okay, well, this is indeed a test fixture. Uh, you can see a ZIF socket in the middle, the black thing, yeah, with, of course, a little metal lever. This was used for testing pin grid array chips, probably gate arrays, but microprocessors or whatever. Just standard 10th uh, inch pin spacing, like in the old days, in the, uh, in the uh, well, I guess they're used a little bit, but for the most part, everything's gone to, to ball grid array and everything like that. But hey, in the 70s, late 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, pin grid array, that was, that was the thing. And hey, if you're spinning some silicon and you need to test it, at a new design, new gate array or something like that, you have this gigantic test machine and... Uh, well, you need a way to plug the chip in. You use something like this. And yes, that's one of the reasons why this is circular. A lot of them are uh, have, have like an arm. These machines would have an arm sticking out, almost like a, kind of like a dentist chair type of thing. But it has an arm sticking out with a place to drop uh, one of these fixtures for your DUT, device under test. And you plug it in. And the, uh, the test, the, it would be called the test head, typically. And then your tester would do all sorts of things. It would feed it vectors, digital signals, analog signals, and measure what comes out, and timing, and all that kind of good stuff. Typically, a, a company that's spinning silicon might have a whole bunch of these, uh, these particular fixtures and wire them up, well, uh, you know, for, for the, the different chips they're testing. You can see, yeah, it's high quality. It's it's that that's that. There's a lot of gold on this thing. My goodness, and yes, you'd have these wire wrap pins on this particular one. They vary a little bit, of course. Um, you can see that a lot of the pins aren't used. They only used a uh, maybe a, not a little more than a quarter here. So they had some sort of small chip here. Uh, what is that? Maybe about twelve by twelve pins, fourteen by fourteen, maybe brought it out to these uh, wire wrap posts to, uh, to fit in with their test. And you drop the, 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 the uh, chip under test in there, the device under test. And you do the connections to these guys here. And we've got some dedicated grounds here. So you wire up what are your inputs, what are your power, what are, what are, whatever you, you need to do. These capacitors, and you can see they're they're kind of in a pattern. Uh, you could you could the other thing is yeah you could add like resistors and passes if you wanted to, but they also had these guys between the planes here because you wanted a very very clean like known environment to test your chip in. You didn't want the test fixture kind of getting in the way. Now, uh, Peer, I don't think Peer is in business anymore. I did some research, and they were a thing back in the 1990s, 2000s. Uh, I, what last date I saw is 
2018 looks like they may have folded up shop um yeah and i can't get to their can't get to their website either um but this looks like probably a middle of the road unit uh some of the better ones might have coax fittings might these might actually be like sma fittings or might have a a very specific socket because well these these are good for well just you know like telephone wire just plain old wire and that's not terribly impedance controlled and all that but yeah so this would not be particularly useful in today's test environment because hey now we're working with gigahertz signals and ultra fast rise times and stuff like that you really need a very controlled environment for your your testing now you know yes it, there probably are um you know there's probably some control with the strip lines and things like that of controlled impedances but yeah probably wouldn't work for today so yeah that's uh, that's what this thing is so now now he knows and uh, why this is kind of in a very peculiar shape it's because well you want well a reasonable uh sort of constant lengths and things like that you want all the pins to be able to be sort of under the right uh, or the the same consistent consistent conditions and such like that so that's what this thing is pretty neat now what am I going to do with it? Well, I don't know. <laughs> it looks good on the wall. Um, I'm not entirely testing any chips here. Um, this would be useful, if, you know, if, or if I had some pin grid array that I needed to do some testing on. But my goodness, I, I don't, I don't have the infrastructure to do, infrastructure in my uh, lab to to do something like that. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll, I might just put this on the wall and thank you to the donor. Um, yeah, so that's what this guy is. All right, well, I hope you like the video. The next uh, show and tell, because I did get three donations all in a row uh, within a week and a half or two weeks or something like that. Uh, the third one, which will be coming up shortly, will be a lot of transistors. A little sneak peek there. Hey, if you got something you think I might like and make a and I should make a video on, let me know. Contact me, and uh, we'll see if well we'll see if we if I want it uh, because well as you guys know I have an awful lot of stuff and uh, hey donations are great but uh, there's only so many of them I can take so yes um, please let me know what you have and I will. Uh, I will t uh, we'll kind of say yay or nay. Hope you liked the video. If you have any more comments on this type of text test fixture or something maybe I did not comment on or touch on or whatever, hey, leave it in the comments. Uh, all right, well, do all the YouTube things, you know, with ringing bells and stuff like that and sharing. Uh, we're getting close to a big number, well, sort of big number, I guess, for my channel. Be nice to hit it soon. Um, hey, if you like the content, I do have a Patreon account. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, I shall see you guys later. Now I can clear off this bench and get some stuff done.